welcome to Make Thrift Buy, the show where usually you guys send in suggestions of cool clothes that you've seen on the internet, and then I try my best to recreate them. Well, today's episode is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be an IRL Make Thrift Buy instead. While I was in Tokyo last month, I saw this cardigan in a store. At first I thought that it was a cool upcycled piece and I was like, yes, I am so buying this until I realized it was actually a new piece and part of some brand's collection and way more expensive than I could afford. So I took some sneaky photos of it and I thought that I would take this concept and recreate something like it for myself. So let's go. So I thrifted this navy blue cardigan about a year ago and I'm gonna use it for this project because the cardigan has a fairly loose weave knit meaning that I can easily stick this yarn needle and a piece of yarn through the fabric. My yarn needle is about double the size of a regular sewing needle and is used for stitching, you guessed it, yarn. The needle is threaded just like a regular sewing needle, which means with difficulty. Seriously, has anybody ever threaded a needle on the first go? I mean, I know that there is such a thing as needle threaders and yes, I need to acquire some, but then where would the challenge be? Ugh, okay, there we go. After pushing the yarn through the eye of the needle, I pulled it through about an arm's length, doubling the yarn over so there's two tails, and then I tied a knot in the very end to tie the two tails together. And I cut the excess yarn after the knot off. Next, I traced some letters onto the cardigan using a piece of chalk. And after a morning listening to feminist podcasts and reading essays on disability, I ended up with rule the world as my phrase. Also taking some inspiration from the cardigan I saw in Tokyo. I also wanted the stitching on my cardigan to be a little bit neater than it was on that one. So I traced the letters out in a neat sans serif font. With the words traced out, the next step was to take my needle and yarn and going through the inside of the cardigan, I pulled the yarn up through the edge of one of the letters. I started with the W, but I could have started anywhere. I pulled the yarn all the way through to the front and then put it back down through the cardigan a short distance away. Then I repeated this like this to stitch down that first straight line of the W. Basically, I ended up with a stitching pattern that looked like this. On all of the straight lines, I did a stitch that looks like this. I guess that it's most similar to a stem stitch. Basically, they're little diagonal stitches that go across and down the straight line like this. And on all of the curved lines, I did what is called a back stitch. To do a back stitch, you make a straight stitch like this, then come back up about a rice grains length away from your last stitch and thread the needle back down on top of that last stitch. I'll do it slowly one more time so you get the idea. And I continued along that curve until I had this. I also stitched each letter on separately. However, if you were using a cursive font, you could just have the letters run on. So when I came to the end of each letter, I threaded the yarn back to the inside of the cardigan and I tied a knot really close to the fabric of the cardigan like this. I often make two or three knots to make sure that it will stay in place and then I cut the excess yarn off with some scissors. And then I simply finished off all the letters in this way, which probably took me about an hour to complete. So how does it look? How did I go? I want to do this yarn embroidery on the back of more of my cardigans. In fact, for that, I'm in need of some good one to four, five word phrases that I can use. So let me know your ideas in the comments down below. Oh, and of course, my conclusion is...
And thank you to all of the people who've been decorating their machines with my new pun stickers available at dftva.com and sending me the photos. Your machines look so damn cute and wonderful with these stickers on them. Get a set for yourself and help support my channel by going to dftva.com and searching for Annika Victoria in Creators. The link is also in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for making these videos possible. To become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.